Welcome to Papa Podcasts. I'm your host, Mr. P. We're continuing with our lesson on the Vesper Theory. And what we're going to be looking at today is two actual uh, compounds, two actual molecules. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw electron dot diagrams and we're going to identify the number of regions of high density electrons. So let's look at our first example. And if you notice here at the bottom of each one, these are two bits of information that is very important for us to be able to identify to help us figure out what shape does our molecule um, make up. And the two things that we're going to be looking for from the central atom. So we're going to be looking at these with respect to a central atom. And the central atom, as we said, with these simpler ones, are the ones that just have the one individual atom. So let's look at the first example. We're going to draw a nitrogen and we're going to want to identify the number of valence electrons. So if we look at the periodic table, we're going to know that nitrogen has five valence electrons. So let's draw them. And, I, and what I do is I imagine an imaginary line in the form of a, of a, of a cross and I'm going to draw my valence electrons on one side at a time. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to do them at one at each point. And once I draw my fifth valence electron, if we have one, that's when I actually start to pair up my electrons. But until then, we only draw four on either end. Or, and then once we draw our fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one, that's when we start to pair them up. And I'll tell you why we're going to do that. Second. So here we have our five valence electrons for nitrogen. Now, we have three hydrogens. Look at which electrons are on their own. So the electrons that are on their own, and this doesn't work for all of them, especially when we look at sulfur with respect to uh, sulfur with oxygen. Um, you're trying to really try to make sure that the atom can, uh, comprises of the octet rule. So we're going to have nitrogen, and we're going to have Hydrogen. We're going to draw hydrogen at each end of wherever we have the single lonely pair of valence electrons for the nitrogen. And each hydrogen atom has one valence electron. And with that one valence electron, we are going to form a bond. So let's. Uh, form the bond here. So now, as we said before, we want to identify the following bits of information. We're always going to be looking at the central atom. And the central atom here is nitrogen. From nitrogen, how many bonded pairs do we have? One, two, three bonded pairs. How many unshared pairs? One unshared pair. To give us a total of four regions of high density electrons. And when you look at my next video that I'm going to be having, uh, you'll, I, we will go through all the different um, shapes that correspond to these types of Vesper theory models in which your, um, you have the single um, central atom. And four would give us a tetrahedral shape. So, let's look at our next example. SF2. So, we know the single atom is our central atom, sulfur. If we look at the periodic table, we're going to know that it has six pairs, or sorry, six uh, valence electrons. So we're going to draw six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four. Notice how I didn't pair any of them up yet. I've drawn four. Now I'm drawing my fifth one, fifth, and I'm going to draw my sixth. And now I'm going to actually start to pair, to pair them up after I've drawn my first four valence electrons. So we have the four, which means now the two fluorides will have to be drawn in pretty much uh, aligned with wherever sulfur has the single 
electrons, the single lonely electrons. So if we look at the periodic table for fluoride, fluoride has seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to draw six and seven on the opposite side just to keep my bond simpler. We have fluoride, so we have one, two, three, four, I'm not going to draw it there, five, six, seven valence electrons. And notice where I placed my, um, my single bond, my single electron uh, that's going to bond with my sulfur. And I put it there just to make us be able to bond it's simpler instead of having just lines zigzag all across our page. So if we look at our central atom to identify the following bits of information, how many bonded pairs do we have? Well, we have one, two bonded pairs. If we look at the number of unshared pairs, we have one, two. So we have a total of two unshared pairs, two bonded pairs, which gives us a total of also four regions of high density electrons, which means this will also take a tetrahedral shape, but with a few exceptions because of the number of unpaired, uh, sorry, unshared or unpaired um, electrons. And uh, we're going to talk more about that in one of the next coming videos. Thanks for watching.